are you asking yourself what can i do on this full moon if so stay tuned i'm gonna give you some tips on what to do so first of all um, the full moon is a good time to do any ritual okay it's a good time to clean uh, charge and consecrate your magical tools here you see some moon water it's a good time to do your round here's is some about but as you can see i made some okay this one is a full moon water with the lunar eclipse okay so you can use it for many things example you can water your plant you can um, use it to cleanse yourself, your tool. Uh, you can use it to drink, but be careful if you drink it that it's some natural water, okay? And you can use it in rituals too. So, here it is for that. Now, the moon is also associated with water. Here, as you can see, I have some shells. So, this one I use as an offering bowl, okay? This one I use as a candle holder. Now, speaking of candle, the moon color candle is usually silver, okay? I know they can be hard to find. So, if you don't have any, you can take a white one, okay? But here at the dollar store, I found this little cute candle, okay? This one are gold, this one silver. So that may be something that you can think about. Now, if you want, here's, I got some hawthorn. And if you want, you can, you know, inscribe your candle. As is, for example, you can inscribe moon and thank you. Okay, I'm going to inscribe it and I'm going to show you after. Okay, as you can see, I wrote moon and thank you. Okay, now I'm going to put it in my shell. So I'm going to burn the bottom of it. So I'm going to use the wax to glue it there. So just give me a second, please. Okay, as you can see, I burn it and then... You just put it like that okay now I'm trying to see what I'm doing oh sorry because I can't see what I'm doing okay you can hold it a little bit you know so it will glue then fine and after if you want you can tear you can take some herb and just put it around like that oh sorry I'm trying to see Okay, I'm going to re-glue it. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry because I'm alone and I'm trying to hold the phone while doing that. So that's what can happen. And then you can burn it tonight. Speaking of herbs, you can use them. Here, as you see, I have some rosebud, jasmine, sandalwood, eucalyptus. Okay, these are some herb associated with the moon. Okay, with that, you can do some incense. Here I got some from Maggie Moon. And I have a mix that I did too. Okay, so you can burn them with your candle tonight. Or you can also use them, okay, to take some herbal tea. Okay, but be sure that the herbs you have, you can use them to eat, okay? And here you see, I have some sea salt. Now you can use them with some sea salt to take a bath and, you know, relax for about 20 minutes in, the, in it. Sorry. If you can take a bath, what you can do is you can use a bulb like this one. Okay, you can find it at the dollar store too. You put some water in, in it, some sea salt and some for example rosebud too you know and then you soak your feet in there and it would be good if you could do it and put yourself near a window 
So you could have the energy of the full moon charging your water and your bath. So that's something you can do with that. Now, when I want to do some mix like that of herbs, either incense or things like that, or finding some correspondence, I always use Scott Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Okay, there's some good image in there. And at the end, I'm sorry, at the end, you know, there's some association, so that can help you. I'm gonna, just gonna try to, okay, okay, like here, okay, there's some association and it will give you some good tips and ID. If you don't have the book, that's fine. Just Google Moon Correspondence and it will give you some types too. Okay, now another thing you can do, the full moon is good for divination. Okay, so I have some tarot card, oracle card, some runes if you want, a pencil and a book, a journal, your book of shadow, anything you want. Now here for the video, I wrote, okay, a full moon spread. As for example, first question is, what is the energy of this full moon? Second one is, how can I use it? Third one is, what should I work on? Number four is, what are my strongest points? And five, message from the moon. Okay, so what you do is basically you take your deck, you shuffle it. Let's say I shuffle it. And then I pick, observe it silence. It's number one. Okay, so you wrote it here. And always give you some space to maybe uh, wrote some observation. Okay. You can do the same with the rooms. You can pick one and you know it will give you some ideas. Now, this is it for that. And also in your journal, you can wrote, for example, what you need to release, what you want to accomplish until the next full moon. And many other things like how you feel um anything that comes to your mind okay now for last sorry here you see some crystal okay you can charge them by the window just like that just give them okay follow me you can charge them like that so be sure though that when you do it to take them out before the sun touch them okay and it doesn't matter if there's no moon in view because she will be there so she will charge in so i hope that give you some ideas on what to do on this full moon and happy and blessed full moon to all of you thank you